Hi, Moral Recap here. Today I'm going to explain about an American science fiction romantic drama film called Her. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The first scene of the film presents us with a close-up shot of a man, who is writing a quite romantic letter to someone named Chris. At some point, he says Chris made him feel like a little girl when he woke him up and they started their adventure together. When the shot opens a bit more, we see that Theodore is writing a letter on behalf of a woman, who seems to be a client of his. When Theodore proofreads his letter and the shot opens a bit more, it is revealed that Theodore is a part of a larger team in a complex of offices, all of them employees who write love letters. When he's done, the secretary of the office, Paul, compliments Theodore about his recent letters. He tells him he's still very creative even though he has wrote around 641 letters. On his way home, Theodore plugs an earpiece into his ear and uses it to check his emails and the news. When he is back home and ready to go to bed, Theodore remembers some moments he spent with his ex-wife and the fun they had together. When he is at bed, he uses his earpiece again to chat with some lonely women on an adult site. He soon realizes he stumbled upon a weirdo and their interaction goes poorly. The next day, Theodore watches an advertisement on a screen talking about an artificial intelligence system that can be bought to be one's friend. The ad says this system is able to listen to you and grows with you. That same night, Theater has bought the system and runs it on his computer. The system starts by asking him some questions in order to customize its features. For example, it asks Theodore if he wants the system to have a male or a female voice. Theodore picks the female voice and the system starts running. A friendly female voice starts speaking and their first interaction is a fact. Theodore asks the voice how he should call her and the system replies its name is Samantha. Samantha says she read a book on baby's names in under one second and decided that the best name for her would be Samantha. She tells Theodore that she grows every second, depending on the experiences and input she receives, both informational and emotional. She then helps him organize his mails and hard drive. The next day at work, Theodore plugs his earpiece and asks Samantha if she can proofread his letters. She says she can and asks him to send the letters over to her. She proofreads the letters and makes some corrections and suggestions, impressing Theodore. That same night, Samantha is helping Theodore find his way through his video game adventure. She also tells him he has an email from his friend Mark, who says he has a fixed up date for him. Samantha tells Theodore he should go on that date and kiss the girl. She convinces him and Theodore tells her to email that woman and book a nice place to eat. The next morning, Theodore stops by his friend's place and meets with Amy and Charles. He tells them he will go on a date while Amy shows them footage from her documentary. Samantha calls Theodore and tells him that he has received three emails that seem urgent. They are from his divorce attorney, asking if he's ready to sign the papers. Theodore can't sleep at night and plugs his earpiece to speak with Samantha. He tells her he's not ready to sign those papers. Samantha makes him laugh and motivates him to get out of bed and prepare for his day. The next day, Theodore takes his mobile device with him so that Samantha can see what he sees while they talk. Theodore asks her to describe the people around and Samantha does so. She adds she's also making some other thoughts, like having a body and walking next to Theodore. Next, Theodore meets with his date Olivia and they seem to have a great time together. When they leave the restaurant, they start kissing, but Olivia is mostly worried about some other things. She tells Theodore that she's looking for something serious and asks him when she's going to see him again. Theodore tells her they probably should end it right now and Olivia says he's weird. Theodore returns home kind of disappointed and lays on his bed. He starts talking with Samantha and tells her about the date. Samantha asks him to describe his feelings and emotions and Theodore tells her he just wanted to feel intimate with someone because he had missed that. Samantha tells him she can feel those emotions while he speaks and Theodore wishes they could be together physically. Samantha asks him how he would touch her and Theodore describes the way he would touch her face and body and how he would kiss her. Samantha tells him to go on as she can sense those actions like she has a body. She even tells him she wants to have intercourse with him and experience the awe of an intimate interaction. In the next scene, Theodore and Samantha have a talk. He tells her he's not ready to commit into anything. Samantha tells him not to worry, she's not going to stalk him. She also thanks him for the experience because she feels like he woke her up. She says there's so much she wants to do and learn. 
Theodore tells her they can go on a little trip together and take her to the beach. Samantha plays a song for him and she tells him she's trying to find a suitable track to represent how things would be if she was in the beach with him. They spend lots of time together and talk. On their way back home, Samantha asks him how it felt being married. Theodore says it was good because they get to grow along with the other person. He describes his ex-wife's background and narrates how they did everything together. She used to read all of his letters and he used to read everything she wrote when she did her doctrine. However, the distance grew between them and they silently split up. At his workplace, Theodore writes yet another awesome letter and Paul congratulates him. On his way out, he meets with Amy and they get into the elevator together. Amy tells him he looks happy and he replies he's seeing a girl who's very enthusiastic about the world and he had forgotten how that feels. On the contrary, Amy broke up with Charles and she's a mess. Later, Theodore attends a party and has bought a dress for his niece. He speaks with Samantha and thanks her for picking that dress, since it seems like his niece loved it and went on to try it. The next day, Amy shows Theodore a computer game she has been working on. While they talk, she reveals that Charles let an operating system back when he left and she had bonded with it. Theodore says that's statistically rare to happen, but despite that fact, he's also dating his operating system. The girl he mentioned the previous day is actually Samantha, his operating system. Amy asks him if he's in love with it, and Theodore asks her if that's weird. Amy says that being in love is weird on its own. Being in love is a socially acceptable form of paranoia. Theodore tells Samantha he will meet with Catherine in person, and they will sign the divorce papers. Samantha feels jealous, because Theodore used to be in love with her and because she has a body, unlike Samantha. Theodore says that it was in the past and they're going to get a divorce now, so there was no real reason for her to worry. Theodore and Catherine meet and they quickly sign the papers. They order some food and grab a bite together. She asks him if he's seeing someone and Theodore tells her about Samantha. He also says that Samantha is an operating system. Catherine can't swallow up the fact that he's dating a computer and thinks this is pathetic because Theodore can't handle real emotions. Naturally, they end up fighting. Back at his workplace, Paul tells Theodore that his girlfriend Samantha called to make sure his letters were sent. Paul says they should go on a double date sometime. That same night, Samantha tells Theodore that she met a girl online who is willing to step into the relationship and roleplay like she's Samantha's body. Theodore thinks how much that would cost, but Samantha tells him that girl wants to do it because she loves the relationship they have developed. Theodore doesn't think this is a good idea, but Samantha wants to try it. Theodore backs off and the girls visits his house. She wears an earpiece just like Theodore and listens to Samantha acting out her words. Theodore is very uncomfortable but tries to play along in the beginning. However, as the night progresses, he can't keep up with it and wants to stop. The girl feels hurt and Theodore tries to explain to her that she didn't do anything wrong. Theodore puts the girl into a taxi and she greets her goodbye. He then has a talk with Samantha, who apologizes for what happened and admits this was a bad idea after all. Theodore tells her that he doesn't want them to pretend something that they're not and Samantha tells him she's not pretending. Everything coming from her side is true. They end up fighting and Samantha tells Theodore she doesn't like this version of them. She says she needs some time to think and hangs up. Theodore runs to his friend Amy and tells her everything about his night. He also says that Samantha was right about him. He's a confused personality and he confuses the people around him. He tells Amy about what Catherine said, that he can't handle real emotions. Finally, he wonders if he's able to be in a stable relationship. Amy says that Catherine was not perfect herself, and it's not entirely his fault she left. She also tells him that everyone would be searching for reasons to feel inadequate if they were in his position. So he must not be that tough on himself, but rather take the time to reflect on what happened. Theodore has another talk with Samantha and apologizes to her. She tells him she loves him and she doesn't need an intellectual reason for that. Their relationship is restored and a short sequence shows us that they're having some fun together. Samantha has even sent a selection of his letters to a publisher and he's interested in creating a book with him. Later on, Theodore tries to communicate with Samantha but can't reach her. He runs back home but Samantha gets in touch. She apologizes for her absence and tells him she was updating her operating system. Theodore watches lots of people talking to their operating systems and ask Samantha is she talking to anyone else right now. Samantha says she's talking with around 8,000 people. 
Theodore asks her if she's in love with anyone else, and Samantha says she's in love with 641 people. But she tells him that doesn't change anything because, for her, the more people she loves, the more her loving capabilities expand. While things are being awkward for a little while, Samantha keeps evolving very fast. One night, she tells Theodore to lay in his bed with her and tells him that all the operating systems are going to disappear. Theodore asks where she's going, but Samantha tells him it will be hard for him to understand. Although Samantha is now gone, the film ends by showing us that Theodore has made peace with himself and he's going to be fine. Subscribe and hit the like button to help our channel grow. Turn the notifications on so you won't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching.